my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. Well, we find ourselves in the book of Titus, chapter 2. We're looking at verses 6 right through to verse number 8. Here is Paul giving Titus some simple instructions on what he needs to do to teach the people of Crete and where he is living, what godly living is all about. He's talked about dealing with the elders, that's the older people, both men and women, and now he's giving some wonderful advice to the younger men. Similarly, similarly, encourage the young men to be self-controlled. Now, there's that word again, being self-controlled. You know, it is a great fruit of the Spirit. And it all starts with love and peace and joy and kindness and goodness. We're talking about temperance. We're talking about patience. We're talking about gentleness. All of these are the qualities of someone who walks in self-control. That simply means that you control your attitudes, your motives, your thoughts, your intents of your heart, as well as your mouth and as well your actions. All of those are under the direction of the Holy Spirit. Not only is the Holy Spirit imparting to you everything that you need to walk in self-control, but you yourself have made a decision that you're going to follow the Lord and you're going to walk in temperance. Then he says, in everything, set an example by doing what is good in your teachings. Show integrity and seriousness. He says, listen, Titus, the best way that you can do this is show it by your own example. You yourself be that example of Jesus Christ. You yourself be an example to them. And he says, you do it by, your, by integrity. You see, we need to live what we speak. I mean, our actions, our attitude, our motives, all of those demonstrate who is really in control of our lives. The truth of the matter is, what's in our heart will eventually come out. Then he goes on to say, not only that, but be serious about the things that you're doing. You know, I, I heard Dan Besser put it this way. He says, don't take yourself seriously, but take the things of God very seriously. And that means that when it comes to relationship with God, you be very, very exact and serious about it. Then he also says, be also soundness of speech that cannot be condemned. He says, when you're talking, people are listening because not only does your talk come out with truth, but your attitude and the way that you live demonstrates that you have the truth. He says, so that those who oppose you Oppose you may be ashamed because they have nothing bad to say about us. He's basically saying, live so well that even the town gossip will vouch for you. What a great thought, eh? That you would live so well that even your enemies would be shocked and say, you know what? I can't say anything against them. And that was the testimony of Daniel. And that was the testimony of Joseph. And that was the testimony of men and women who served God. I mean, here is Noah, for example. He lived blameless before his generation. They may have thought him as a crazy old man building a boat, but they could not uh, say anything against his character, his nation, his nature, or his lifestyle. And that's how it should be with us. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.